All right, I am at Overland Expo, and you know me, I'm always looking at different rigs and different stuff, and I found something here in the field that's kind of like mine, and it is super cool. Check this thing out. Hi, my name is Parker Temple. I'm Isabel. And we built this 1994 uh, Overland vehicle just like Michael's, and it is so much fun to use. My name is Michael Ladden. I am currently traveling more than 220,000 miles around the world on board my 1994 Storton Stevenson Overland Expedition Rig and KTM Adventure Bike. This is my story. We bought the truck in January of 2021. Yeah. And it took around a year and a half to build the whole thing. We were living in another camper as we were building it. We lived in a 1990, no, 1954 Coleman pull behind canned wow. hand trailer. Yeah. And that's what we lived in as we were building this thing. And then once the interior, we started on the interior and once that was ready to go, we moved into the interior and started working on the engine, the drivetrain and everything like that. We just got First interior all welded up, built built it the way we wanted, and then winter came around, we needed somewhere to live, we started in here. So now you do you guys live full time in this truck? Yes. Yep. Full time 100%. on the road. But but yeah. you uh, your story's a little bit different, right? You go and stay stationary for a while over the winter, definitely, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, so during the winter we're both ski instructors at uh, Yellowstone Club and Big Sky. Um, and that's up in Bozeman, Montana. It's a great place to work, we absolutely love it. But uh, during the winter, we basically park the truck and live in it in one space. We take it to town, get water, that type of stuff. We have a 100 gallon water tank and everything's inside. We're designed and built to last negative 40 temperatures, no matter where we are. And we built it around the sports that we do. We can fit the dirt bikes under the bed. We can put everything inside. That was big for us because we go travel pretty far into these places that we don't want our bikes, we don't want the paramotor or flying gear outside. We don't want to even want our tools to be shown outside or anything like that. I hadn't even changed my own engine oil before I bought this truck. <laughs> I love that story. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely crazy. And then a year and a half later, I feel comfortable taking the engine apart and putting it back together. Summertime, we love to travel. We both kind of work remote. I am a filmmaker for National Geographic and BBC. All right, so the build is, it's an aluminum box. So yep. we just welded an aluminum frame onto the actual walls of the box. So it's super sturdy, going off road, off camber stuff. Giant sink, which we love because we can pile dishes in there for like days at a time. Yep. Um, and nice having the cutting board and the little drying rack. Three burner propane stove, which I refuse to cook on electric. So this is important. And a propane oven, which is super nice to have. It's fun to be able to bake cookies and all that stuff. And then this folds down. Okay, yeah. So, so you more, basically more. have counter space. More counter space, yeah. Folded down. Yeah, yeah, so this is just peel and stick. This is our uh, headache bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's for good climbing in, I'm assuming. Yeah, so we actually have a stool. And hitting your head, probably. <laughs> oh, we hit our heads probably like 20 times a day. So we have a stool and then a bar. That's how we get up on a little swivel so you we can actually turn it and watch it at the dinette so that's fun when we're eating dinner and stuff and then we both have a cabinet so this just swings out of the way yep. if you want to get into this cabinet um, and they all have lights that turn on when you open them oh really mm -hmm. mine's a mess because I have too much clothing nice <laughs> sound system yep so there's this is its own zone is the bed and then there's two in the dinette that's its own zone and there's two outside 
So you can do all of them, two of them, one of them. Yep, Arctic Turn windows and the door. Um, so you can see, like, this is where the original windows were, and we just patched them. The shower is pretty simple. It's just hot water. Yeah. So there's no mixer. You just select the temperature you want on the water heater screen. Oh, wow, look at that. So we like, like 111 or so. Yeah, yeah, once then, you know, you know. Yeah, you just turn it on, and then it'll go to that. It takes a couple seconds to warm up, but it's not bad. This is instant hot water heater? Yep. Yep. So yep. it's tankless. Fired by what? Propane. Propane. So the only things on propane are the stove and the hot water. The toilet is a composting. It's a DIY compost, so you can buy like the nature's head or whatever, but this is like 150 bucks. A guy on Etsy 3D prints it. And then you put it on a five gallon bucket. Sure. Yep. Uh, yeah. Nice. It's nice to have some privacy. Yep. Yep. They keep the water from going everywhere. Yeah. So many people don't put showers in at all. Yeah. So I've noticed that I'm standing with some people that have yeah. one and I have one. Yeah. You know? Oh, we full time, we could not imagine not doing having, it. Like, yeah. you, we do so many sports coming back from a long bike ride and you're sweaty. The table's on a lagoon table mount. Um, honestly, I feel like you could DIY that for. This is just a teak countertop we found at Home Depot. Um, we had the cushions. Um, there's a company online you can put in the measurements you want and they'll print you or sew you the covers and then we just bought foam from like a fabric store. Pull out pantry right here. Oh, oh super cool. All the way storage, out. Yeah. On the front up there is our dirty clothes and kind of yep. other type of storage Backpacks, right yeah. here. Um, there's more storage there and that's kind of our liquor cabinet we call it. It's a great little spot for bottles and everything. <laughs> Wait, and then under each, check these out. Hey, look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Check it, but this is more storage right here. Yeah, that's like onions, um, things. Anything, bed sheets, any extra stuff. And then the other side opens up just like this side and makes it easy. Um, but you, we also have a full closet on that side too. So let's pop down. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then Closet on that side. Yep, very nice. And then going down to why the dinette is so high, you can yep. see the floor of it's pretty high. Yeah, we mm -hmm. do sit comfortably in here. Um, we didn't want wasted space, and in the winter, you need to have your water tanks inside. Absolutely. It just didn't make sense to have them outside, yep. everything would freeze. So, inside water tank, we have a hundred gallons of fresh water. And moving this way, we have our freezer and fridge. Isotherm did a great job. This was the last one in the US we could find. Made for boats, it's awesome, we love it. Here's our freezer right here, and here's our refrigerator. The best part about this whole thing is it is deep. It yeah. goes wow. way back yeah. there. For the two of us, I, it's yeah. like more than enough. I, I also like the location because you can grab yeah. stuff when you're outside. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like yeah, it's yeah, close yeah. to the door. Yeah. If I'm just coming in, I want to grab some ice cream and head on back out. That's right there. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to the electrical system and monitoring system, we chose Cymarine Systems. It's a really fancy yet fun dashboard for the whole system. We have this great screen that just comes on right away. Um, we can see we're taking in 15 amps of solar right now. We're almost charged all the way. The voltage, time to charge, everything's right there for you. We're burning th 3.5 amps in lights um, and it goes through. We can tell outdoor diesel heat, indoor heat. We can figure out how much power we're actually burning. Starting battery voltage, fresh water and diesel levels, inside, outside refrigerator and freezer temperatures battery, hot water, and fresh water temperatures, pitch and roll the vehicle, barometric pressure, and the best part is all of this goes right to your phone in an app. We have 3.5 miles of sensor wire. Um, on top of that, we have 700 watts on the roof, which is not the most for one of these, and we could fit a lot more. We don't need more, but it'd be fun to have a rooftop deck. So we put a rooftop deck up there and we love it. Yeah, batteries are actually stored right here. We can easily get to them through that wall or this wall. Um, we have 600 amp hours of non-lithium batteries. The only reason we didn't go with lithium batteries, I love the power density and lithium's great, but we live in cold climates. Maybe replace the system in the future with heated lithium batteries, or we could just keep that for now and it's worked perfect for us. So this is the rear of the vehicle. Usually this is the only entrance into the vehicle. We do a lot of boondocking and everything and I knew I wanted the bed in the back so we could get our toys in here. We carry a lot of toys. Right now we have two mountain bikes and a gravel bike strapped in here and you can see 
there's more than enough space still in here. So we have the Suron hanging from our crane on the outside and that gets towed right into here too. So we are able to lift up anything. This is a 115 pound bike. We just lift it straight up and pull it into the vehicle this way. This crane system we built ourselves and it shush kebabs the entire truck. Do front and back winches because you never know where you are and where you're going to get stuck. It took eight months to get these Sherpa winches, which- How many pounds are those rated? So it's rated for 24,000 pounds. We love this crane system. We actually use it for our little hammock here, our single point hammock. Um, but a lot of people look at that and they go, oh man, that must be for the spare tire and everything. It's not. We use this for only picking up propane tanks or things under 500 pounds, getting those to the roof. Our spare tire, just like Michael's, is on its own system, comes down just like that. It's real easy and all compact and nice. See through the hole there, you got a generator up yeah, there? Yeah, 4,400 watt uh, emergency generator. How We use it twice. All right, I am so used to getting into one of these trucks, but I gotta tell you, this cab is definitely different than mine, and being a pilot, this looks like an aircraft. So tell me about inside <laughs> it. So the internals of the truck, we really wanted the driving experience to be a main part. I mean, a lot of people go ahead and they'll do a little to the cab, especially on LMTVs and stuff, but I mean, we drive these things everywhere. It's a driving vehicle. We have tons of matting here because this is where the engine is. We have this joystick. The joystick goes ahead and controls stuff like Wait a minute, breaking. wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Are we serious here? This looks like... Yep. This is like Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, so this is a military spec joystick for a helicopter, for a cyclic, where we can use it, we can go ahead by lifting up, we control stuff like engine braking. The trigger here is for the brights of the vehicle, audio, our seven point camera system it usually just displays our three uh, modes are side and our rear. But if I want to expand the whole thing and just see the back, I can go ahead and hit the China hat back and it'll show me the rear, or I can see the front, anything like that. On top of that, we have a reverse beeper and rear brights. I hate when people are behind you with their brights on, so I add a little button that flashes back there. So turning on the system, let's give a few things power here, just like this. This is kind of our lighting situation. We have our top bar, our reverse lights, deer and ditch, amber, white, left and right of cab, left and right of box. All those are different switches, you know? On top of that, we have one big button. Turn everything off just like that. Real nice and easy. We have Apple CarPlay and here's our camera systems over here. We have JBL speakers above each person and a Rockville uh, eight or uh, 12 inch amp or sub. We ran more sensor wire where we have temperatures of interior, exterior, brake and block and I can cycle through everything like that and it's also an alarm system to give me if we start to get too hot on brakes or anything like that it'll go ahead and tell me that full PA system. We can talk through it that way and it's got all alarms and everything like that. <laughs> we can even go hands down is the coolest electrical design cab thing I've ever seen, for real. <laughs> right here, this box is actually a giant battery box and it houses a lot of stuff like our solar controllers and wiring in here. It's nothing too fancy right now. We left space for everything else, but we have 200 amp hour battery that's separate from our starting batteries and separate from our house batteries. So there's another battery in here. So we can run the radios for days without even turning the truck on. So we did an inverter here, an inverter in the back. We wanna be able to not be struggling with power we don't yeah. why would yeah. you want to have to run back to charge something yeah. yeah and we do have there's 12 volt up here and a few other places we have 12 volt and secret storage hydronic heater pelican case storage system we don't use that space wow. so i didn't want it to go to waste so that bottom case right there that's all medical supplies if i need if someone's injured or anything like that i can grab that case and go it's out. Okay. The next one up is going to be um, recovery. That case has all of our recovery gear. Grab it and go. Above that one is going to be um, tire change kit. So every single tool that we would need for a tire change is in that kit. When we get into trouble, I don't want to be searching through all my toolboxes. Right. I grab that case and I go and fix my tire. Quick go. Yeah, and then above that one is accessories and radios and simple things like that. Here's X, but we can see forever. Yep. It's awesome. We are actually right now right around 12 and a half feet in the air. We love eating dinner up here and it's nice and white. Nothing. Cool, yeah. yeah, it is really nice. Here's all of our solar. That's it. 
we only have these three panels. Each one's 230 watts, so right above uh, 700. And this system, these are all of our tools. And this one's kind of like our fun box. They have like our bochi balls and everything like this. And that's more of the toolbox. We have our onboard welder and everything up here. So the crane helps bring everything down that way. So we got WeBoost, CB radio, and then this is ham radio right there. Thank you guys for this awesome walk around tour. Yeah, it was fun to have you. Definitely. Okay. And uh, why don't you tell everybody how can, if they want to follow you along with you guys, how would they do that? Yeah, so we're on Instagram. It's at expedition underscore nugget. And same on YouTube. Um, if you just search it, it should be fun. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. And let's enjoy the rest of the uh, Overland Expo. I know. This will be fun. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching this video. If you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the truck and tree symbol to your right. Once again, thanks and hope to see you soon.